Hey everyone, today we're gonna to go over three dental marketing strategies that you can use in 2021. For those of you who don't know me, hello, my name is Dawson. I'm in a dental marketing company here in Colorado Springs. Uh, on this channel, I'm really passionate about helping dentists, uh, helping them get more business, get more patients. Uh, I'm kind of peel back the curtain on uh, how I get results for my clients on this channel. Uh, if you have any suggestions or want to join the channel, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's jump into the first strategy. First strategy I want to share is following up with your existing patient base and your old leads. A lot of dentists, especially if they've been in business for a while, have a list of leads or a list of patients that haven't come in in a while. Usually with the patients, uh, maybe they forgot about coming in or maybe they missed the notification to schedule their appointment. Uh, nonetheless, they've been to your office before and they haven't been in in a while. Uh, these are the key patients you need to follow up with uh, via text. Uh, what I suggest doing is sending them a friendly message uh, you can do this in bulk with uh, different softwares, uh, but send them a message that says, you know, hello, this is Dr. So-and-so, or hello, this is Dawson from so-and-so dentistry. Uh, we want to invite you into, you know, maybe you're running a, a new patient special. Uh, we're inviting you into a new patient special. We have some openings next week. Uh, we want to know if you're available to come in. Uh, something that you would say to a friend, something that's a very friendly, not a salesy uh, by any means, uh, this can have a lot of success. This is what I do for my clients and I'm always able to get five or 10 uh, new patients without even, um, or excuse me, existing patients come in uh, without spending any money on ads. Do the same thing with old leads, combine that with your patient list, put that together, send them a message and see if you can get some people to come in. The second strategy that you can use to grow your practice is fill in your gaps. I've seen so many dentists try to uh, overextend themselves with SEO or with social media without having a solid uh, foundation in place first. What I mean by that is a dentist that doesn't have a solid patient experience, doesn't have a solid base of reviews, uh, and tries to almost overstretch himself in one area or another, uh, typically gets burned. Uh, it's not very sustainable to uh, put all your time and energy into SEO or to put all your time and energy into uh, Facebook content, you need to have uh, an overarching kind of 360 uh, foundation if you want to scale your practice. So be specific on what you need to improve on. I would encourage you to make a SMART goal, uh, write it out right now, something that's specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time sensitive. Uh, talk about that with your team tomorrow morning. Uh, keep yourself accountable and see if you can make some improvements. The third strategy to grow your practice is to build on your foundation. Now that you've filled in all your gaps with your website or your Facebook content, your reviews, patient experience, any of those, uh, time to build off of that, time to capitalize on all the work that you've just accomplished. It's time to start running ads, time to start running offers in order to uh, really leverage the work that you did in the past. This is where I see a lot of dentists drop the ball. They have their website together, they have all this content on Facebook, uh, but they're not optimizing it, they're not uh, leveraging and taking advantage of what they already built. What I suggest doing is running a new patient special or an examined x-ray special, uh, some kind of special in order to uh, bring traffic in, uh, bring new faces into your door uh, and to reach more people. If there's something that I said today that resonated with you, uh, if you want me to run ads for your practice, I have a link in the description below. It's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call with me. Uh, we'll sit down, I'll learn more about your situation and if it sounds like I can help you, then we'll move forward. If not, that's totally fine. I'll put you in the best direction that I can and at least you made a friend. If you know someone that needs this video, feel free to share it. Uh, maybe it's a good excuse for you to reconnect with your buddy from dental school that you haven't talked to in years. Uh, feel free to share this video. <laughs> uh, feel free to like the video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.